hey guys this is a timeline diagram and it's very beautiful so please subscribe like and share and today we will learn how to create this beautiful design so go to insert and select this shape so this is a shape for creating a custom you know any diagram or pattern and you have to hold shift while moving your mouse like this so this will create a straight line now go to the effects panel 3d rotation and change its format to isometric now increase the width of this shape to around 24 points and now the next step is to create a base for it and for that I think let's create a copy of it so for that you need to duplicate it by pressing ctrl D and now we're gonna fill the colors but before that let's add some depth so we have added 27 points of depth and applied the white fill on the line make sure you select line and not the fill because fill is for the shapes and this is a line we have created a line and now let's fill the color on the first copy and the color should be of gradient type so we have used four gradient stops and I have already placed the color palette so pick the colors and fill on all the gradient stops and make sure the gradient type you have selected is path and let's move the color palette down so that we have enough space so now the base is ready and let's shift it to the front and place it here now just select both the copies and just move it to the center now let's design the background so background should be of dark color and here we are using blue colored gradient background and you can pick any type be you can experiment here so I have picked radial and now let's duplicate this design that we have created and paste it as an image increase the sharpness and then increase the transparency as well so when you have duplicated it make sure you paste it as a as an image and place this duplicate image here you can play with the transparency and brightness and contrast and it gives it a very nice look and feel and again duplicate the image and in further increase the transparency and send to back so this will be the reflection of this shape now group all the items increase the size and adjust the placement and now you can see the reflection on the background and also we have increased the darkness on the gradient stop in the background now let's create uh, you know the stops or the timeline pointers and for that you need to insert a circle and I'm just trying to figure out if this shape will look good here or we should go with the circle I think we should go with the circle and let's not consider this shape because 
we will have we will face some challenges in terms of you know 3d rotation so let's follow the original plan of going with the circle change its orientation or rotation and add some depth and change its color also you can play with the material and the lighting if you want now duplicate this circle reduce the depth and also the size and change the color to white and place it at the center and you can always zoom in if you face any difficulty in terms of alignment because in 3d environment alignment can be challenging go to shapes and let's pick this L shape so this will be the base of this timeline and fill white color change its orientation slightly add some depth it should be very minimal change the material to metallic and you can also try lighting and here we have reduced its thickness send to back select all the elements group these together and connect it with the timeline so here we can write the numbering so here let's start with a and you can select the font you want so this time we are using impact font change the font color and i would prefer alphabets in caps change the font color and match it match it with the respective position on the timeline increase the transparency for the L shaped base that we have created now you can align it with the timeline so similarly you can place all the you know these alphabets throughout the timeline and change the colors so the steps are repetitive and that's why we are we have increased the speed of the video here and here you can flip it horizontally the L shape so that we can place it on the other side of the timeline So we have placed all the timeline positions now let's add some text for each position like for a you can add some text like if you are planning a timeline for a project so you can always write like by this time you will complete this so these are like milestones and here we are focusing on the text styling here so for heading we have used impact font let's go with agency fp for the description and group it together and let's write heading here but of course you can change it as per the milestone you have and match the color the font color with the milestone color So similarly you can add the text boxes for all the milestones and align these on the left and right side of the timeline
alignment is very important and this makes any slide look good and now let's insert a rectangular shape here so this rectangular shape will support the text elements that will that we have placed and give proper attention to each element so in every design it is very important that where you want the viewer to see on the slide and here we have placed the color scheme if you want to you know select the colors and you can adjust the diagram here so here you can add the branding or the title of the slide but it, but it also depends upon the template you are following if you are following your brand template then the top area might be different and here you can play with the color so if you just take a look at this timeline it it you know surely looks very complex to create but if you have followed the video from the beginning you must have understood by now that it is pretty easy now let's add some reflections and shades on the diagram here you need to design custom shapes so just follow the steps just create an angled shape and make sure all the shapes are following the same angle this will create a very nice symmetry and just increase the transparency and you can always edit the points if you are not sure or if you think they are not placed accurately you can always edit the points and readjust them manually And similarly add these custom reflection zones on at different positions on the timeline like create one here make sure the angle is consistent remove the outline and increase the transparency and fill white color And this will make it look more realistic these shades are very important and always enhances the beauty of any diagram And meanwhile you are if you're watching this video for the first time or you are on our channel for the first time please subscribe join the membership and you can always download this slide from the G drive link provided in the video description Just maintain the consistency in terms of the angle you are following. And this is the last shade. Increase the transparency. And here is the result.
Now let's add some glow effect in the background. Insert this circle and remove its outline and fill gradient color and increase transparency on one of the gradient stops to 100% and on the first gradient stop fill the main color and just adjust the gradient stop especially the second gradient stop it should be between the middle and the end and you can see the output this beautiful gl glow and place it here and duplicate it and place the second one towards the end here we will change the base color to purple and let's create a third copy and this is how you can add the base in the background I mean the glow in the background and now let's create a main text timeline and increase character spacing center aligned and change the text orientation to isometric form let's keep it standing so select this first option and increase the font size duplicate it now we will create a reflection of it and type in reverse the timeline and place it here cut it and then paste it as an image now this is an image go to picture format flip horizontally and then flip vertically and now you have created a reflection and place it just below the timeline and then go to picture format and increase the sharpness to minus 100% and then you can play with the brightness and the contrast and increase the transparency as well so here is the final output i hope you will like it so please subscribe like and share and join the membership and download this beautiful design from the g drive link provided in the video description